it's time to move on, you know, with this documentary, and you know, it's just time for me to move on now. Is it difficult for you at times to live with friends? Well, yeah, especially married friends. You know, I mean, it's it's almost like an intrusion on on people. You know, I mean, it's it's not something I enjoy, and I'm sure it's not something they enjoy. But you know, that's what I'm saying. It's time to move on. You know, it's time to go. And so these circumstances have led you to get to a place where over the years, where you decided, all right, it's time to to speak. Well, I've seen so many other people cash in on my life, you know. I mean, the book and, you know, yeah, documentaries. You didn't for the book, right? No. Uh-uh. I didn't make a penny. Why? Well, they say in the book because I said that I didn't want to make money. I just wanted the story to come out. But in reality, I use that Son of Sam law where you're not allowed to, you know, profit from, like, criminal activity and blah, blah, blah. So I never saw no money from the book. There's been like a ton of stuff done on TV. Never made any kind of money from that, you know. Now I'd like to put out the real story, and what I'm talking about is in in its entirety, where it shows that, yeah, 20, 25 years ago, I was on the street with the DeMeo crew. But in the last 25 years, I've been just alone trying to make ends meet you know, without delving back into the criminal world, which I've had plenty of chances to do, um, and make it on my own righteously. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. You know, nothing more, nothing less. You know, I'm not looking to live, I'm not looking to drive a Ferrari again. You know, I've been there. I'm, what did that get me? It got me this, you know. So all I want to do now is just have a decent life. You know, which is, is really difficult to do in the situations that I've been over the years, over these last years, you know. Let me ask you this. What would you say to guys like Henry or Joey that could be watching this in a penitentiary somewhere? What would you say to them if they said, what the fuck are you doing? And, you know, look at you and yada, yada. I'm just saying I'm doing what I do. You know, that's all. I got no guilt toward anyone. You know, they're going to hate me and they're going to call me a rat and a stool pigeon and all of that. That's cool, you know, but I got to do what I got to do. I'm sure they're doing what they got to do to survive where they're at, you know. It's different worlds, you know. I'm not going to, you know, even get into debating that, but it's just a matter of you got to do what you got to do to survive, you know, and that's what I'm trying to do, you know. And do you miss any of those guys? Oh, yeah. Well, I miss Henry, you know. I mean, I mean, and there's other people that, you know, weren't even involved in this case that I, I miss a lot, that, were, you know, that I was really tight with. That was part of the whole sacrificial bullshit that I had to go through. You know, you had to sacrifice a lot. I sacrificed my family, for God's sake, you know. It, you know, it's, it's not easy to do that. You know, you, you, you're going against everything, you know, that you ever believed in, you know, and, yeah, there's people I miss, but one thing I learned a long time ago was this whole life is going to be very solitary, you know. You're not going to be out there, like, running around making the big bucks and, you know, partying and having fun. You know, it's, it's going to be enough just to get by. So do you have regrets? Would you say you have regrets? No, I don't think I have regrets. Um, the only regrets I have is that I screwed, I screwed it all up myself. I mean, that's one major regret when you do that. Yeah. You know, I mean, if I would have stayed in the Army or if I would have done this or if I would have stayed with my music, you know, I don't know where things would be today, you know. But I chose not to do that, you know. And it's nobody's fault but mine. But I chose to do that. So it definitely, you know, has a huge pa impact on you mentally. Because, you know, I mean, I'm 59 years old. And, you know, I'm, I, I had more money in the bank when I was 17. 
you know, working at McDonald's. So it's, uh, you know. How does that make you feel? Miserable. <laughs> you know, in, in one word. You know, it makes you feel like, you know, that whole, but all those years just went down the tubes. You know, all those years are gone. Well, people yeah. are going to ask, they're going to say, well, why can't he work? Why can't he do a job? What's your answer to that? Well, you, could, you can work and you can do a job. Um, but like I said before, any money I make, they take off my pension from the military. So it's got to be a real good job. So it's got to be a good job. Yeah. What am I qualified to do? Zippo. You know, I have no history of, you know, I have no trade. You know, I have nothing but my wits to keep trying to get by. Get the military stuff. Yeah, but how are you going to get a job doing that? Yeah. You know, especially with my past. Because they look up the past. There is no past. And there is no past. You know, I mean, they, they don't even have a record that I was in. I mean, they have a record. And like Audie and, you know, people like that know. But, you know, you can't just go get my, my records. Well, that was records, another person, by the way. Speaking of records, while we're on that topic, what, what about these websites that you see that these fucking assholes put this shit that you're not even on it? Reply to that. Oh, the ones that's like yeah. I'm not—I was never in the military yeah, and speak shit to like them that. For a well, I, that's like you said. I mean, number one, people that—that's that, that all they got to do. Man, I feel sorry for you. Number two. I mean, even in, in, in this documentary, I mean, it's been, I mean, how would I be getting a pension from the military? How would I get my VA benefits if I wasn't in the military? How'd, you get your new teeth? How'd I get my new teeth? <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, it's just, what's amazing to me is that people are just allowed to say whatever they want to say about you yeah. on, on, on this, this damn internet thing. Well, but don't they realize that your name was changed and that's why they can't find you? I, well, that, that to me, um, I literally called one guy up and spoke with him and, you know, tried to explain that, you know, you're never going to find my records. I can't get my records from the military. You know, I'm having a problem with that right now because I'm trying to get my original records for something that's going on and I'm having trouble getting them, you know. So how is some bozo out in Kansas that's writing some book going to get them, you know. So to them, I just say, you know, write what you want, because I don't really give a fuck, you know? I know where I was at, I know what I did, you know? So it really don't matter to me, yeah. you know? I mean, you got to get a hard shell after a while, too. And there's been so much shit written that I don't even pay attention to it, you know? Because I got tired of getting pissed off a long time ago, so I don't get pissed off no more. I just read it and say, what kind of fucking morons are doing this? You know? Now, what would you say to Nino if you could say something to him. Lassie came home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was saying. He'd know what it meant, too. You know. But that's something we, that's been in a, a bunch of documentaries. It's in the book. Yeah. You know. Uh, take a break for a second. We do it? What? Well,